Hi friends, welcome to Tutor's Funny Channel. Uh, today is a part two tutorial of point of sale system. So let's create the database. Want to create the database? Cost hit create button. Database has been created successfully. This database, I'm going to create the tables. First, I'm going to create the table as product table. Product table, I'm going to consist of uh, five columns. First one should be ID. Eleven. This one should be the ID, which is a auto increment with primary key. After that, uh, code item code this one should be watcher after that product name price product name p name p name is a product name price quantity Price quantity. Right. The simple table structure I have created. Hit save button. Now here I'm going to insert the values. Right code would like click insert. So I'm going to insert product code 1001. Product name I'm going to create as uh, Android mobile price 15,000 quantity 100 after that second one the id field you don't fill up this one is auto increment so item code here as i'm going to get uh, item code 1002 this one should be the sum from mobile 12,000 hunt quantity right we have two products i have played two products if you go to the browse you will be able to see these are two products right so now once you once you here this is the i have uh, if, if you want you can uh, simply you have to create one form in uh, inventory you can do the uh, cred operation of uh, delete the record and delete the record and insert the record and update the record of products table right so here only i have created this one right so here enter the item code relevant the product details need to be displayed so here so what i'm going to say select this one select this one right click action action here don't hit type here action perform i need here key key release event okay right click event key key release event once you type the correct uh, item code the product details need to be displayed so here what i'm going to do is i just go to this code uh, this code right so i'm going to copy this one entire code First, I'm going to put this one. Paste it over here. I explained, don't worry. Okay. So after that, what I'm going to say, I'm going to uh, this is all the connection. First, I'm going to add the database connection. So first, what I'm going to do is we already implement the MySQL. Uh, uh, I didn't. Okay. I didn't had a. Uh, include the mysql like this out here so i will be edit here okay before that right so go to the google and type mysql connectors for java sorry here type here mysql connector for java here you will be able to get the jar file mysql jar file you will be able to get it here right mysql 
jar file you will be able to get it here okay you can get them and download them right here this is a zip file here you will be able to get the zip file uh click and download the zip file this is a jar you can see the jar format right this is a zip file you have to download them okay right so this is the thing you have to download the jar file after download them you have to right click and extract them it will be become a normal folder after that you can browse and put into your project right so this is your project inside the project that is a the folder called which is libraries right click add jar folder here you will be able to go to the e drive uh so right i'll show you how to download them i haven't downloaded them right so click and download here don't here uh, log in or sign up you just not act just my download okay i'll show you then you will be e easily understand right if i download and extract and put into the uh the folder and do it okay here it will be downloaded but it seem it's take only one minute time to get downloaded here it is a only 4.9 mp okay so here download it successfully go to the show in folder now it's okay now it's completed right now let's go to the show in folder this is your folder right so i just copy this one i put it to my e drive right click extract file click okay extract it now let's back to my project select the libraries this is your project point of sales there is a folder which is a library select the library folder right click add like add jar folder yeah you have to go to the e drive here you have to select the file which which will be downloaded my sql this one connector double click and double click okay this one uh jar okay this one my sql this one i think this one click on and open it now your jar folder is open successfully here this is your jar file okay my my sql connector is added to your project now what i'm going to do is here after that you have to implement the class sql class so import java dot sql asterisk if you put like this you can accessible all the sql classes after that you have to add the connection con prepare statement pst right after that you have to add it the do stuff uh after that you have to add this one as well result set and table data model these two two things you have to add it. result set default table model you have to implement the class task implement the this uh, default table model it will be uh, interact with our uh, j table okay right that's it that's this four object we have to create it con with prepare statement and rs object this one should model this all things are coming from this name with sql name so this is a uh, table this is a model it is coming from this namespace right now what i'm going to do is what's the product code you are typing okay this is so here first you have to write it okay we have created the uh here product code we are the code right so item code right what's the item code you are type on this text field it is assigned to this variable right after that this all the things what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut off this line i'm going to create the variable uh, object public white uh, we have to create the not to object uh, method which is a connect paste here as well this is not error this connection con here is variable con the task import the try catch block this is over here right that's it that's the thing here right this also the click and 
catch okay you no need to import the try and catch it, it will be the net beans will be automatically imported right this connection object can control seed copy what is the constructor of the class when the form is loaded constructor get load right so after that what i'm going to do is what is the database you have created product pos so name it as pos right so here this is the driver registration you have to import the uh, mysql driver so you haven't registered so first you have to register the mysql driver after that you have to given the path where your database is resided your database is reside on the local host this is local host which name is pos so i have get pos this is a user credential of mysql if you are download xamp server in your machine the default username is root default password is plan okay when you are download if you want you will be able to change right i leave leave as it is right so that's why i have put it root is a username password is plan okay this, this is a class not found exception i have put it here if there are any problem of the classes if you are not to import any sql classes so uh, if, you, if you are not to import regarding the sql classes the error will be thrown as class not found exception or if you have any problem with your sql code if you have any spelling mistake of your sql code this exception will be thrown which is a sql exception that's it okay now let's check whether it's fine or not if you are import if you are okay anyway what is the wrong ah here this code right we first you have to this one right this i'm just this code i cut off first you have to check it now it's working but uh, what is here one error will be thrown uh class not found this is driver problem right so now here what i am the problem here is go to your project this is a project you can see inside the like uh, here the problem is i have import the uh, library folder i have put into here inside the radio button project i have import the libraries that's what you select your project libraries here i have to import that right now let's run and check uh this this driver is right the the latest version we have to change the driver as this one com cj driver this is the latest one okay so here i have changed this one instead of this you have change this one now if you run it now it's okay now here there is no problem okay that's a problem right working perfectly well. right now what i'm going to do is if i enter the relevant product id i want to display the product information right so what i'm going to do is uh back here right rest of the query simple query paste it over here right pst you have to first i'll be explained don't worry right so this j option pair product code will display product if you enter the product code uh, here we have uh, another thing is product name you have to put the product name pro name this one should be txt pro name p name Price right perfect. Right now, what I'm going to do is here I'm going to the other prepare statement here correct surrounded with the try catch, paste it over here, right. Now what I'm going to do is right. You have to first you have to what is the product ID you are typing. It assigned to this variable 
item code variable. After that, we have to write the prepare statement. That already we have to create the object above prepare statement of the PST. Equal connection prepare statement. You have to write the correct select all from each table product table where this one should be item code. Item code. So you write item code here. What's the item code you are typing? Giving it will be searching the particular item based on the product. If the uh, item code is found, it will be it will be coming and you have to enter the relevant P name and price. So P name, P name, or the price. Right. Okay. After that, you are setting to the relevant text fields. Text field, that is the text field. Okay. What is the product name you entered here? This is price, quantity, all the things. Right. So now what I'm going to do is let's check whether it's working fine or not. If I enter the correct product port 000, uh, what is the problem? Zero, 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 001. It's working, but the problem is here. Uh, now here, this one, I'm going to change it as key instead of key read is key press we will change it is there any, some problem so you have to write here if event means this object you are called get code press enter key only it will be work right you have to press enter key you have to set only the enter key right so this same code control has to cut off paste it over here that's it now let's check if get key code key event dot bk enter mean if you enter key press enter key only now if you type 0001 press enter here it displays 0004 there is no barcode is found right so right so it's working now it's working right now it's working fine okay now it's the barcode is not uh, Okay, it 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 working successfully right here. If you enter the quantity, we need one button. So here add button. If you click add button, the record details should be added. So here in the table, all right? This all things we have to do by in my next video tutorial. I hope you understand the things well. Thank you for watching.